Florida, land of beautiful beaches, thriving wildlife, and the incredible Greater Everglades ecosystem. But something stinks amidst this paradise. Toxic algae blooms and noxious plants are troubling the state's otherwise pristine waters. Enter aquaculture, whose goal is to combat nutrient overload by taking this waste and converting it into a commodity, fertilizer. We'll explore more in this installment of Conservation Nation. Before we learned about aquaculture and how they're restoring the health of Florida's rivers and lakes, we toured the Greater Everglades ecosystem by airboat with the help of Marshall Jones, owner and operator of Max Fish Camp in Miami Lakes, Florida. Here's what we discovered. There is this misnomer that the Everglades is a swamp. And there are small regions of the Everglades which are cypress swamp, but the vast majority of the Everglades is the River of Grass, which is a uh, wide flowing watershed. Gladesmen are individuals such as myself and my family that have eked out an existence throughout this region for multiple generations. It is my honor uh, to, to serve the Everglades with integrity and showcase one of God's natural wonders to the general public. After exploring the Everglades, we met with aquaculture creator Nick Sabo and conservationist Mike Elfenbein to learn about the process and how this waste is repurposed for Florida's grasslands. When I first came down to Florida, I didn't realize that there was such a, an issue with uh, aquatic invasive species, water hyacinths, uh, uh, hydrilla, and it just it grows and grows and grows, and of course, because we've got 21 million plus people, I think, in the state now. And so you've got all this human activity, and so we came down with the idea, well, well why don't we take those plants, harvest them, and put them back on the land where they came from, right? Pretty simple. And, and so it's just a matter of developing equipment that can do that efficiently. They call these big ones, this is like bull hyacinths. They get really big and thick. Mm -hmm. And these guys can have roots on them that go down two feet. And so when you get 10,000 acres of this stuff flowing towards the exit point of a lake, you're going to have a problem. So all we're doing is we're taking these plants out, we're, we're juicing them, we literally grind them up in a juicer and put them back on the land. So we have an ability to not only clean up the lake, remove nutrients, reduce chemical spraying, um, provide clean water, um, restore the landscape, but we also have an ability to save taxpayer dollars on things that they're spending them on that we have a solution for. Um, it's a win-win for our ecosystem and for our people, for our drinking water, um, and of course, our, our food supply, right? We can keep our food supply here, local. Uh, we can continue to buy from local farmers and producers and ensuring that our communities remain whole and intact. Aquaculture is one way that Florida can solve their growing, noxious aquatic plant and toxic algae bloom problems with technological innovations and market forces. Will they succeed and will their business model be expanding in other places? Time will tell. Until then, I'm Gabriella Hoffman and this is Conservation Nation.